a leaked picture. So guys, Neil just broke a new record. Well, actually, uh, three records, but we'll talk a little bit more about that. And also, today we're going to talk about Envo, more information about the Envo sub-brand. Pretty, pretty juicy information. So, of course, right now, 2024 ET7 is coming out, and they just did a live stream yesterday with three different vehicles. 2024 version of the ET7 with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, and they did an actual range test and they got 1046 kilometers 1062 kilometers and 1070 kilometers respectively and these were all going on different routes one of them was way in beijing going south one of them was in uh, central china going west the other one was in shanghai going uh, northwest so completely different road conditions completely different routes very far apart and each one of them were able to get about 1,000 kilometers of actual range, actual driving range, which is just, just absolutely incredible. And you can see the energy consumption is around 13 kilowatt hours per uh, 100 kilometers, which is pretty nice, pretty interesting. And of course, this battery uh, will be available. Well, actually, it's already in several swap stations and it's going to be available at the end of this month for every Neo owner. Every Neo owner can rent this battery and it's just absolutely spectacular. They're going to have a gradual rollout. So it's not like every swap station is going to have it. Only some will have it, but indeed this is very, very nice. And for those long road trips or rare use cases, you can definitely rent this battery pack. That's amazing. The other very interesting information on both sub brand. So Apparently, Neil had a pilot testing program. So if you didn't know, uh, they have this thing called Neil User Navigator. I actually have that badge as well because I did an early software test a couple years ago, two or three years ago, uh, with the English operating system on the Neo. So I got the software early, but apparently, you know, this is, this is a big thing. They have software, they let some Neo owners test it, and then they... Uh, you know, and then they polish it and then they release it to everybody. So that's, this is very, very nice. And what Neo did was apparently they were supposed to have a pilot test for the Envo cars. All right. They were going to do that. They were going to select some Neo owners and then do a pilot test, an early, early test of the Envo cars. But because of the fact that there might be leakage, you know, information leakage, and they don't really want that happening so they kind of scrapped that plan but this also hints at the fact that we might be seeing the cars a bit earlier hmm interesting however neo ceo has confirmed all right confirmed once again yesterday on live stream that Envo, everybody's interested in this car by the way and like even during the et7 live stream people were asking about this car uh, and, and one of them, uh, one of the drivers, which was also a Neo owner, he called up William Lee to ask him about this question about Envo. When is it going to be released exactly? So brand launch in May, deliveries in Q4. That's still the schedule right now. They might push it ahead and they're going to have a lot of uh, deliveries. They're going to have like smooth deliveries by December. And one of the things that the CEO said, which was really, really interesting, was the fact that they've been doing tests on this car forever. All right, this car has actually been available for, for quite, a, quite a while. So they had the test production of this car. Uh, so, so I guess this is called an engineer's car for quite a very long time. So almost, almost a year. They've had it since summer of last year. And so they've been doing lots of tests and all that kind of stuff. And what's really apparent is the fact that this car will not have any quality issues when it's launched because they've done so much testing. It's pretty much quality guaranteed. And by the way, here's a picture of what the Envo car looks like from the inside. Apparently, this is a leaked picture, a leaked picture. Pretty interesting. Some people wondering what the name L60 represents. Well... L60, uh, apparently, well, this is allegedly, L60 means 60 kilowatt hours of 
battery. The battery pack is 60 kilowatt hours and also 600 kilometers of CLTC range. So you can probably expect at least four or 500 kilometers of range. And this car is Neo's first car with 900 volt architecture. It's gonna be the fastest charging Neo to market, okay, fa fastest charging vehicle that Neo has to offer to market before the ET9. And in lots of aspects, this car is actually better, all right, better than uh, some of the Neo vehicles. So in that, in that sense, you can expect this to really, really, really sell well, all right? This is gonna sell really, really well, guys. You got fast charging, some of the fastest in the market and battery swap. And you got nice juicy horizontal screen. I really love the way that front dash looks. It sort of reminds me of um, the Lotus Elect Electre. Oh, looks beautiful. And then if you have, uh, I, I guess with this price, you probably won't have rear screens, but damn, that looks so damn good. Also, the NX chip, the new self-developed chip, it's probably not going to show up on this car because of, uh, you know, there's LiDAR variant and non-LiDAR variant. And that chip is just, it's equivalent to four or an X. So they'll probably save it for Neo's main brand, ET9, and then the future iterations of ET ES8 and that kind of stuff. So we'll probably might just see one or an X chip. That's sort of like the standard at this price point. One or an X is plenty enough and guys with a starting price of around 200,000 RMB a tad above that with for this car all right you're getting the whole package for that price and then with battery rental instead of buying the battery pack you can push that price down it'll be interesting to see how far you can push it down with battery rental uh, right now for Neos you can push it down by 70,000 RMB I don't expect you to be able to push it down by the same amount of battery rental. So probably in my estimate, 50,000 RMB seems fair. So with bass, with battery rental, you can probably buy the car for 170,000 RMB. That is such a good deal, guys. That is just nuts. That is nuts, guys. Oh my God, oh my God. That is just absolutely crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And this car, if it has like a, fridge you know uh, of course neo ceo being at xiaomi's launch event seeing what xiaomi's car has of course this car is going to undercut xiaomi just from the interior and the exterior i know this car is going to sell fantastically well it's it, it i mean like it's going to be better than neo's existing vehicles can you believe it the sub-brand car better than neo's existing vehicles neo's existing vehicles 400 volt architecture that car, 900 volt architecture, uh, horizontal screens. People want horizontal screens. You know, here on Neos, we had vertical screens, vertical screens, vertical screens. Some people really hate this, all right? We just all want horizontal screens. Nomi's nice, yeah. And you're finally getting that on the sub-brand car. And some people hate LiDAR like me. I'm just not a big fan of LiDAR. I don't really, you know, I'm just not a big believer. I know the tech. I know how how strong it is. But I just feel like, you know, I'm driving most of the time. I use Neo Pilot on the highway. If I could choose to have a sleek design without the protruding LiDAR system on top, I would definitely choose the sleek design over the LiDAR system. So... You know, that's just me. You could be different. So overall, man, this car is looking nice. This car is looking nice. Brand launch in May confirmed. All right, C already said that. Brand launch in May confirmed. Are they going to open pre-orders once the brand launches? Is it just going to be a brand launch and, and, and sharing uh, the brand philosophy? Or is it going to be like, oh, we're also opening uh, deposits and you can deposit some money to buy one of the cars? It'll be interesting to see. And also, one interesting point is uh, it's going to be all done through the new app. So, you know, existing new owners, you also have discounts for repurchasing a car. So, you know, maybe, possibly, I might get one. Maybe. We'll have to see. Yeah. But that does mean I have to sell this car because I only have one license plate permission. Man, this is, this is exciting. 
I mean, looking at the interior pick, ooh, I just want to buy more new stock, guys. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.